What has been the hardest part of all of this for you? <laughs> right now, this is the hardest part. Stacy Santiago reflects on more than a year of challenges as a parent, nurse, and CEO of a nationwide workforce provider. She compares nurses to firefighters during 9-11 who ran toward the danger. Nurses were that for COVID. It's not easy to get up in the morning and, and go and risk your life for strangers. Research from the American Journal of Nursing ties nurse resilience to feeling that their hospital understands their emotional support needs, belief that staff is being deployed in areas of critical need, and knowing that hospital culture sends the message that it is okay to ask for help. When this is over, what do you think we will have learned about nurses? <laughs> I don't know when this will be over. I hope that our wages are looked at differently. I hope that the hospital incorporates us into everything that they do when it comes to decision making. Some resilience builders at work begin with a nurse examining the need to control and understanding what they can and cannot control. Also, no one taking that extra 12 may be one too many. Having a culture that doesn't tolerate nurses eating their young. Understanding that most nurse-to-nurse -nurse conflict is not about medical disagreements. It is about emotional reactivity. Finally, those who care most sometimes care least for themselves. Get a massage, unplug the television, mm -hmm. you know, make sure you're drinking enough water, make sure that you're eating a balanced diet, you're exercising, you're taking care of yourself holistically. Um, we need community. We need love. We need family. Um, we need each other more than I think we thought we did. And we need to appreciate nurses more than we ever have. I'm Bill Prasad, your mental health and wellness expert.